Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. In 1983, a team of scientists, including astrophysicist Carl Sagan, made an ominous and terrifying prediction that in the event of a nuclear war, on top of all the damage from the bombs themselves, our world may enter what is known as a nuclear winter. And this might be so bad that those same scientists think its effects might be just as important as the immediate effects of the war itself. So what is a nuclear winter anyway? Well, it's basically the environment environmental devastation that might come from hundreds, if not thousands, of nuclear bombs. See, these bombs would cause massive firestorms, especially if they're dropped on large cities, and the smoke, soot, and dust would rise up to the stratosphere and spread globally. And from here, surface temperatures could lower, the ozone layer could get thinner, and we could even be thrown into a global famine. But could we survive it? Well, a team of researchers recently simulated what would happen in the case of a relatively small nuclear winter, and their findings are definitely not good. Sorry. They imagined a nuclear war between India and Pakistan, where the countries collectively dropped 100 nuclear bombs, each about the size of the bomb the United States used on Hiroshima. They found that the black carbon, which is a major component of soot, would rise to the stratosphere and absorb sunlight. This would heat up the stratosphere and decrease the surface temperature of the Earth and the upper 100 meters of the ocean, hence the winter part of nuclear winter. Be warned guys, winter is coming. And if my calculations are correct, I think that is the 100th Game of Thrones reference we have made on Life Noggin. Congratulations, everybody. The temperature increase in the stratosphere might also cause major losses in the ozone layer, which would cause more exposure to ultraviolet radiation, damaging our health and our agricultural crops. In fact, crops are going to have a really hard time because there will be less rain during a nuclear winter, and there will be less time for the crops to grow because of killing frosts. And with the reduction in crops, crops and possible UV damage to aquatic life, we may even experience a famine. And these effects aren't short-lived. Within five years, the researchers predict that the Earth will be around 1.6 degrees Celsius cooler, and around 1.1 degrees cooler over the next 20 years. And the ozone layer losses will persist for a decade. And remember, all of this damage was predicted when only 100 nuclear bombs were dropped. Currently, there are 15,000 nuclear weapons worldwide. So, if it's 100 bombs or less, it is possible that you could survive the famine and other consequences of increased exposure to UV radiation. But if there is ever a nuclear war that is larger, the ensuing nuclear winter might be even more devastating. So, let's hope we never have to worry about that. Because... It's scaring me just talking about it. What do you want us to talk about next? Let me know in the comment section below. This episode got me thinking. A few decades ago, a cold war broke out between the US and the Soviet Union. What if that war went nuclear? Our good friend Alternate History Hub explores that very idea. Simple computer glitches or miscommunication almost led to the end of the world many times. But through just luck, we kept rolling sixes and didn't blow ourselves up. Yay. But what if in an alternate timeline, we did? There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.